All right, guys, this video is part one of my thermite series. I'll be showing you four different ratios. I already know that the recommended ratio is three to one for thermite, but we'll see what happens when we change it up a little bit. And in the video after this, I'll teach you how to actually make the thermite. But for now, let's just get straight to the tests. Alright, as you guys can see, it's a very slow and consistent burn. And you can see the molten iron right there, kind of settling. And the wood is actually on fire, as you can see there, and it's glowing hot right now. So I'm going to let it cool down and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. It's cooled down a bit, and you can see right there, there's some, a lot of slag, but inside I think there's some more pure iron that I could break away with the hammer when it cools down more. Whoa, much more violent than the past one. It actually knocked over the pot and kind of popped a little bit. Interesting. That was seven to two. Whoa, much more violent than the past one. It actually knocked over the pot. It kind of popped a little bit. Interesting. That was... Here is the molten iron right after the reaction. It's kind of oozing out. Here is the 5 to 2 ratio. Wow, that went very fast, a lot of popping, much different than the other ones. Here, I'm going to drop in this penny real quick while it's still molten hot and see what happens. It looks like it's just melting. It's very hard to see. Oh, there it goes. Wow, it even turned a little greenish. Well, it's burning. That's I think that's the copper or maybe the zinc. Oh, look at that. It is, there's definitely a greenish hue. You can see, look. Wow, that went very fast, a lot of popping. Much different than the other ones. Here, I'm gonna drop in this penny real quick. Well, It is, there's definitely a greenish hue. All these weird like foam or webs are on it. Very strange. That's the penny burning right there. Yep, 3 to 1 is definitely the best ratio for thermite. 
much more controlled than the other ones. Oh wow, look, the wood is on fire behind it. And I'll show you guys when it's all cooled down. Yep, three to one is definitely the best ratio for thermite. Much more controlled than the other ones. Here's a test to show you guys how hot this is. Here's a twig. And look, it catches on fire just by pushing it in there. And it's already been cooling down for a bit. Look at that. All right, here's what remains of the four tests. There's the first one. Here's the second. And this big glob over here is also part of the second. It's just stuck on the concrete right now. This is the third test. And you can see all this white foam that formed around the edges. And this is after I dropped in the penny. So comment down below if you know what this white foam is, because I don't know what that is. Here's the fourth and final test. And you can see a lot of it has spewed out the bottom, but most of it remains inside. And once I clear away all the pottery and slag, I'll line up what iron was recovered to give you guys a gauge for which ratio produced the most iron. Okay, here's the iron that was recovered. I got the most out of test four, none out of test one, and I found that out because after I broke up everything with the hammer, I went through with these magnets and I got nothing from test one. You can see the magnets are very attracted to the iron, sticking easily. This made it pretty simple to get the iron out of the slag. And in my next video, That'll post, I'll show you guys how to make the thermite.